Hey everyone, John here from the Deer's Embroidery Legacy and today I'm going to show you a simple way to mount an embroidery design onto a finished canvas. Now this is a great way to showcase your designs as well as to gift your embroidery designs to your friends without having to apply them onto a garment. So I love this technique and stay tuned. Now here's the design in question and here is a pre-made canvas. It is an 8 inch pre-made canvas. I have a staple gun, extra staples just in case I need them, a nice sharp pair of scissors to cut my design. I do have a pencil as well as a light colored marker so that if I need to outline the area that I'm cutting it won't show through onto the front of the canvas and that you do have to be careful about especially with materials that can bleed. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my canvas, put it underneath, and I'm going to more or less eyeball the area that I want to be mounted onto the frame. And I want to make sure that it is centered, but it is also positioned so that I have the same amount of material on the top and the bottom, and also the same amount of material on either side. And once that's in place, I'm going to turn my canvas over, and that is my position for my design. Now at this point, I'm just going to use my pencil and I'm going to mark the first one for the state cutting the stabilizer. And then after we do that, I'm going to also go around the outside with a ruler and I'm just going to mark the outside of the design all the way around so that I get an area that is going to overlap. Make sure that I did not move it. And that pretty much gives me all of my lines that I need to cut for this piece to be done. So now I can see I have a square, an inner square, which is the same size as the actual frame. And I have an outer square, which is the area that's going to roll over. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the outer square. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to make sure that I cut right on that first line. Keeping in mind this is going through the stabilizer and the material. It doesn't have to be 100% dead on, but you want to make sure that it's pretty, pretty consistent with the spacing all the way around the outside. We are going to be pulling on the material to make sure it's nice and tight onto the canvas frame. I will now go to the third, continue to cut around, and then I'll do the last side here. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I can see that it's gone off a little bit, but that's okay. This is just going to give me a general shape for the frame and now I'm going to cut the inside. Now I'm just cutting the stabilizer. I'm not cutting through the actual material, but this one is going to give me the, the uh, I guess, outline to match up to my frame. So this one I'm gonna make sure is pretty much exactly where I want it. And now all that is done. Now I can see this one definitely went off on the side a little bit, so I'll just take that and cut it up so it's gonna be nice and straight. And then what I can do is I can take all four of these corners and I can just cut them a little bit on each corner so that when I turn this on the corners, it's not going to get really big and bulgy, just cutting off a little bit of the excess fabric as I go. So there is my piece. Now if I want to, I could use a little bit of spray adhesive and I could spray just my frame a little bit. And that way I know when I put this down right over top, I'm gonna make sure it's lined up on all four sides and I can press it onto the canvas and that's going to give me the general outline so I can see that that is exactly where I want it. Now while it is in place, this is when I'm going to take my staple gun and the first thing I'm gonna do is put the first staple down right in the center and then I'm going to turn it around and do the other side right in the center. Make sure that it's pulled nice and tight on either side and then I can, pr can proceed to just put one on this side, one on this side. I'm going to continue to do the other side from the center out. Now that I have each side done, I can see that it's nice and tight. And now I'm just going to move into this and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll put the first one in the center. I'll turn it around, do the next one right into the center. And then I'll continue to do 
the ones on either side. And then I can proceed to work on all of the corners. And for the corners, I'm just going to make sure that I bring that one side in, fold it over, and get it nice and tight into that corner and go through all the pieces. I'll continue that on each of the sides, making sure that I fold it and overlap it, but making sure it's pulled nice and tight so it's on the corners. If I want to add one more, same thing on this side. I'm going to make sure that it folds over. I have a nice tight corner, and for the last one, come right into the corner and make sure that it's folded. And now when I turn it over, my design is done and it looks great. So now that it's all done, all I have to do is try to find some space on the wall and we'll put it in place.